two Dirt Schwein unboxes, an evil modded and or custom controller. Uh, and the Schwein. And here we are unboxing another controller, I believe. One of the times we unboxed this guy a long time ago. And yeah. Um, pretty much I found it was time to finally upgrade from a standard Xbox One controller. Mostly the sticks. I never liked the Xbox One controller sticks. They're far too loose. Um, which are actually sticking out. Wait, right back. Speaking of sticks being loose, let me... demonstrate the sticks because that was a major issue for me. Um, and the reason why I decided to get an evil controller as opposed to their competition stuff, or however it's to say it. But yeah. I got my... Actually, wait, hold on. Yep. controllers doesn't turn on this box falling over but it's fine all right uh, so give me to my hands and we'll get started now I got all these different controllers to join which basically these are all the controllers I use more or less daily um, and yeah so here is the box it comes in it, it comes via FedEx from Arizona this one is around $400 uh, like uh, $375 I believe however that is with um, that is with the uh, that is with the three that is with the gold warranty which is four years and it covers absolutely everything as in it's best buy levels um and also got the trouble case because why not at that point um just to keep my controller in better condition and uh pretty much without the warranty which to have the complete coverage warranty because they are a small shop and and because they are my controllers Meaning that they have to actually rip apart the, they actually have to rip apart the controller in order to, you know, change in order to customize it. Unlike Scuff, for example, which has already made parts, all they gotta do is just take the base components and then just switch and switch them out. Um, Evil has to actually go in and, well, that's a much cheaper. Uh, Evil has to go in and just complete mod the controller, old fashioned style. And I've been wanting a mod controller for years. Okay, not bad. I mean, it's fourteen dollars. What do you want? It will do its job, I would think. And it comes with a little 
You know, think uh, think uh, around your wrist. Okay, that's not bad. Oh yeah, here's what we really want. Um, and with just all of the modifications, it's two four. Uh, it's two, it's two seventy, and it's pretty much it has everything but the triggers, essentially. Uh, you can get tactile triggers, uh, which make it more uh, gun-like, but you lose the but you lose the ability to have that smooth travel um, in the trigger, which is the reason why I got black switches for my Wu Tang two instead of blue ones, as default for the very same reason, and I do use it still for that same reason. And also, they did take care in making in uh in, in uh. They did take care in uh, packaging, at least the outside. Some people just slap tape on and let it be what they actually cared. Hold on. There we go. I wonder how true that is. Um, now I did not get in, I did not get any um, pretty much cheats because that's cheating even even with fortnite where you pretty much get macros half the time i i really oh that's cool i really i i really don't i don't i don't quite approve of it although on pc it's more common on console i i really i don't think i approve of just press a button and then you do stuff and then you do macros and here we are it comes in its own box i wasn't quite expecting that and a nice little unboxing so again they do care especially since you know this is going to be at the very least a $200 product um, if you want one mod if you I mean you can also get these just with the um, you can also get these just with different uh, face plates um, and different face plates and that's it that will that will cost you that will still cost you around $100 but still but yeah it's, I really like this unboxing experience Oh, I boxed oh, the wrong side. Oh, there's a little window. Wait, hold on. Hold on. How done? How done? How done? We can redo this. That's better. Oh, yeah. A little dusty. But I could just be from the unboxing. I don't think it is, though. Where, where good controllers go bad. Oh, wow. Go bad. <clears throat> where good controllers go bad. Before that, we got this obligatory sticker. And remapping your paddles very important. Which this is another reason why I like this over scuff, because scuff you'll need to place a you will need to like place a little keychain next to it and that would help change it. Um, and then the a reason why I didn't get the official e controller or the razor one um, is because with those you need software. I want this to just work. Um, and with another reason why I didn't get scuff or the official e controller or the razor wolverine is because of these sticks and let me show you the reason why because on the uh, on the official xbox one controller this is a special edition they made right before um right before uh the new gen the new generation of xbox ones xbox one s and x in which the new controllers the xbox one s controller has a script built in but this one it's different and goal and stuff like that it's a real very nice and give you a glimpse of what to come but yeah, that's the stick on the um, Xbox One controller. As you can see it's very easy to push over. Um, and very small and I just don't like it. Here's the stick on the on the uh, slim version of the Xbox 360 controller. Much better. Um, something I do hold Xbox One and 360 to, the uh, Wii U, which is much, much heavier. And I do like, and I do prefer domed. I do not like it when Nintendo switch to a more Xbox design because it does grab your finger when you're going for the piece buttons and of course PlayStation which also has that nice uh, I mean it's slightly thinner or slightly easier to push but it's still thick so here we are here's the true test also I was really wondering what the feeling of this face would be like oh wow and it has that and it has the Xbox One S grips I chose white, the original controller is black, as a subtle evil um, logo, unlike Scuff, which is in your face. And another reason why I picked this over Scuff is because of the, um, is because of the, uh,
Go pro, be go, go pro, be go pro. Because of the paddles, instead of being on the back, which are which pretty much if they're on the back, you only can really press with uh, your uh, with your uh, middle ring fingers, and it's really difficult to get all four. However, on the grips, it's perfect. Albeit on the grips, you lose your rumbles, but it's still really nice. Oh, uh, they feel perfect. And oh, they fixed this with the Xbox One S controller. Um, where you can rest all four finger, I mean, you can rest, you can do the Nintendo PlayStation rest and have your index finger on the bumpers and your middle fingers on the triggers so you can have all buttons pressed at the same time. Oh, that's a problem though, that the, uh, actual controller is pretty much exposed, but that's, um, that can really get dust from, well, my dandruff in there, but that's fine. And I love these sticks. Oh, they're so nice. They are just so nice. Loose, but they're loose and a... Oh, actually, um, the left one is looser than the, than the right one. The right one really has that stiff stiffness. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I actually don't disapprove. That's really good. I really like this. I mean, it is a bit strong. It's again like bra uh, like blacks on. It, it's if you are, if you're putting this in the context of uh, PC gaming, this would be like um, this would be like black heat switches, and these are more like blues, where they have a very solid, where they have a very 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 solid um, bump for that. Uh, they have a very solid bump for movement. And where these are completely, sm uh, these are almost smooth, but they're really thick, so you can't really, um, so you can't just max out your aim like that. Also, I got um, the quick buttons, so so they're easier to press and just overall, and the controller is really light, but it's because there's no batteries in it. Um, and I can also, you can also do it this way. You can have your pinkies down if you want to do the Xbox style of, um, of index only up top. And these uh, shoulder buttons allow me to pretty much like, okay, I'm, run I'm running, I'm shooting, I'm aiming. Oh no, I need to switch weapons. Weapons are now switched. Oh no, I need to reload. Weapons now reloaded. Stuff like that. Um, and I will, be I will be testing this out on console. Or not on console, jeez. Yes, on console. Um, but also on PC. That's not what I want to say either. You get back in your holster. Um, I got this. This is an official um, Xbox One wireless uh, rece uh, wireless receiver for Windows 10. Uh, for Windows, I believe it's a smaller modern version, um, which came out uh, in late 2018, and it's. And I got this at GameStop. The only real places to get it are straight off Microsoft or, or GameStop. And at GameStop, you have to order it online. Uh, Microsoft, of course, you only order it online. Um, and the reason being, the ones on Amazon are very fishy. So I would not recommend the ones on Amazon. Uh, go ahead and get straight off Xbox and uh, um, or GameStop. And they're all around the same price. The cheapest ones on Amazon are $18, whereas an official one's $24. So I, I would definitely go for the more expensive version and get the uh, more official one but anyway um overall yes i love this controller at least from first impressions of unboxing it's really outstanding and uh, definitely the controller of my dreams i've been wanting and i love the and i love this matte feel of the uh, face plate too it's really really nice and by oh you know what i'll be right back hold the phones Batteries are in there. I do. Batteries somewhere, uh, somewhere under. Also, that gold deep hat is a um, is another option I, I, because I, I just could not get enough of the gold deep hat on my limited edition, so I decided to put it on my uh, modded controller. And again, I used the word I, I used the word modded probably incorrectly, as I probably should be saying custom. As modded implies, it has rapid fire and stuff like that. Pretty much, pretty much, uh, 
uh, cheat codes for the controller. Um, which is, of course, cheating and could get you banned offline. Um, uh, and, as they say on Evil, it's not terminant ready, or it's not terminant approved. Uh, terminant approved. So, yeah. Batteries. I know I should have been more prepared, but I was so excited. I literally just, I literally just got this. I really, literally just got the box. Okay, and this is a bit different from the standard because of the um, uh, because of the modding. And and there's my and there's my classic Xbox green um, light as well as I wanted the green light to go with the blue and that's very um, that's more yellow than I thought it was gonna be but it looks it looks even better than on the um, than on the customizer and I'll and what I'm gonna do is oh there's evil evil up there too and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, um, stream it stream me stream my first use of this controller uh, right now and also show and also another video show you how to actually obtain one of these controllers because I do have a flash show going on to May 1st um, off uh, the professional parts like this and this uh, these shoulders are amazing They're much better than the launch edition um, Xbox One controllers at the very least but yeah I am extremely satisfied um, well done evil also I, I must uh, oh yeah and also, yeah, I mean, this is where having a bigger, this is what thumb covers are for, is to pretty much, uh, is to pretty much emulate something like that. But yeah. But yeah, so this is pretty much going to be my controller for all my videos. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate you watching on this controller. It means a lot to me. Most me, let me view to subscribe. Also, uh, also, let's try this. Uh, most me, let me view to subscribe. Um, if you were to check out. My, um, mostly let me if you were to check out this story, Part of the Universe. It is a sci-fi universe I've been working on since I was very little. And I'm, I'm now using it to write books. You can also use the setting for pretty much anything you would like. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, hello. This is an issue. Okay, hold on. They got this on camera. I mean, they could have made, they could have made the case bigger. They could have made it, they could have made the case a lot bigger. Uh, and then you are rolled up. There we go. Ah. I mean. Uh, is this not for paddle controllers? That doesn't seem like that's a problem. Uh, it doesn't seem like that makes sense. No, it's just really stiff. Yeah, it's just really stiff the first time. Okay. And now this is nice protected. I can't feel the controller at all, which is good. I think it's just stuck the first time. But yeah, that'll be the first video. Thanks for watching. Is anything exploded? No. Okay. That'll be the first video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching on this video. Means a lot to me. Uh, I need to take a break because belts are constricting my stomach. Ah. Trying to get some knowledge as I am. That's just it. But anyway, all right. So uh, check out their story. Um, and, uh, their story is uh, a sci-fi universe taking place between the year twenty, uh, year twenty twenty to the year three thousand. Um, and I and I really excited to get the controller running. And I, uh, I'm just today is not a me and belts. i very nauseous, so I gotta get off. And also, I am getting a battery because I rushed this video. But yeah, regardless, um, check that out in the description, below the playlist, below the line, you'll find the Google Drive where you can find the lore files and the two books I'm working on. And yeah, uh, also, and also, if you would like to see more stuff like this, um, as well as more unboxing videos, stuff like that, as well as keeping me fed and alive so I can make more videos for you all, I'm pretty much everything I do get, um, will, be, will, is for doing YouTube videos. So yeah, um, so you can donate with the uh, donate below the uh, below the their, below the link to their story. And yeah, all right, that'd be it for today. Thanks for watching, and I guess.
I did a classic outro, I did a classic outro, come on. And I guess, see you in the game.